Well, hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your new moon reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. The new moon occurs in Sagittarius on the 14th of December. It also coincides with a solar eclipse. So very, very powerful energy during this time. Uh, the new moon in Sag is about your luck changing, using that willpower in order to sort of um, level up and move through any obstacles that come your way. I'm just checking the energy for your sign during this period. We have step out of your comfort zone. Now, earlier I did a little bit of um, a pre-shuffle and you got the tower to start. Uh, so that is that energy, you know, coming out of that comfort zone, some sort of surprise to make you do that. Expect powerful change. Yeah, so definitely changes happening here for you. Um, we have um, one more. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding this new moon energy for them? We have look at the bigger picture, okay? So very exciting time as uh, this shift. I know uh, some people get a little bit nervous about change, but that new moon in Sagittarius is often a very powerful, um, positive change, okay? Um, has an aspect that um, the solar eclipse there is a very positive energy. Uh, so things are changing for the better. Now I'm just getting your overall energy. We have the strength card that's in the protagonist energy. So you're definitely standing your ground on something and going after what you truly deserve. You're starting to believe in yourself. Uh, we have judgment. So you may be uh, thinking about a, a few options there, um, making some final decisions. And we have aha, that tower. It's always going to come up there, especially for the energy that I'm feeling this shift in this change. Now it's in the antagonist position. Um, I have to say, uh, they want me to go again, um, but I have to say this tower energy, it being in this position, it indicates, you know, a surprise that helps you rise to something better. Okay. And they're calling it the sun card. So this is a positive change here. Uh, you're not expecting it, uh, but it is in your favor to shake up the energy. So if you felt like you were stuck in a rut for any reason, um, everything's about to shift for the better, for your highest good. Now I was using the um, Moonology deck to get the overall moon energy for you, using the White Witch Tarot for the overall energy, and now I'm getting the details from the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed uh, Just to let you know, we have justice. So that is the energy. Uh, going after the happiness or a situation that you truly deserve and getting um, a very fair, balanced outcome uh, that is kind of a win-win situation for you. Uh, just to let you know, you only read uprights in this particular deck. Uh, no reversals. That is the stipulation of Colette Baron reed uh, for this particular deck. We have the Messenger of Air. We also have the Ten of Earth. Beautiful energy. Yep, so a lot of abundance headed your way um, as this uh, new moon shifts. And we have the Two of Water. I did, uh, the, the Lover's card came up um, as well as the Hierophant in your pre-shuffle. So this indicates, the Two of Water indicates some sort of harmonious partnership. Um, and uh, oh, they've asked me to go again. Ah, straight away, we have the Five of Water. Okay, and we also have the Messenger of Water. So a lot of water in your chart. This feels like your emotions, you know, um, your a little bit of tumultuous time, maybe a little bit of anxiety because you're not expecting this change. Um, but as a result, everything balances out nicely. So there is there is love here and there is um, excitement uh, for this new change. Now I'm just going to go and get any final clarification uh, from the Golden Tarot of Renaissance. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, uh, so some sharp kind of conversations. Uh, maybe you let someone in. Um, and trusted them, but they've wounded you in some way. They got under your skin. We have um, the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Okay. We also have the Four of Wands. So celebration here for you. Um, we have the Queen of Wands. Powerful energy. You have a lot of queens going on here. A lot of people in the mix. And we have 
the seven of chalices so there is a choice here i was picking up a choice oh they asked me to go one more so i will i was picking up a choice with the lover's card earlier for you ha and we have the tower but it's in the reverse so this is indicates you know disaster is averted by some sort of change don't try and fight this energy okay um, because the change is for the better it's to emotionally stabilize things a little bit more now we have the strength card so uh, this is an energy of standing in your power knowing what you're worth cancer and going after it okay you're loving yourself you're learning to not doubt yourself in any way and i feel like you have the courage to go after what you truly desire that's happiness you got the sun there so they're indicating you know you may be thinking about the right path you may have even denied yourself happiness in the past because you felt it was the right thing to do in that situation i feel like there's a lot of justice here um, and you may have put your own happiness on hold to look after either your family or uh, you know a loved one uh, maybe a lover or you know uh, friends I feel very much like you're always giving out your beautiful nurturing energy and sometimes you forget about you cancer and there's this energy of now it's time for you to receive uh, care nourishment and abundance not only from the universe but from those around you okay maybe your partnership or um, and it's because you know your worth you know that you deserve it so there may have been uh, in the past some sort of situation where there was sabotage here, whether there was self-sabotage, maybe you, you doubted yourself and felt like you were not enough in some sort of situation. That's all about to change, okay? And if someone, because we have that seven of swords there, I feel like you may have been dealing with someone maybe who has a, an air placement, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, because we've got strong Libra in this section as well as Leo. Um, there's an indication here of... Um, there may have been some sort of uh, either dishonesty, maybe even, um, I feel like it's an unkindness more than a dishonesty. And someone wanted, they, they hurt you and then they kind of ran away, okay? Uh, but that's all being balanced out because we have that justice card crossing it. We will come to it in a moment. Now we have judgment. So there's an indication here, it's in the antagonist position. As I said, you may have denied yourself your own happiness because you put it on hold in order to, you know, make everyone else happy. So you self-sacrifice some things uh, in order to, um, this could be just your time, it could be your love, it could be your finances, because we, we got uh, the Queen of Pentacles there, and that Queen of Pentacles looks after her home, looks after her soul tribe, um, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but it feels like you may have um, sacrificed something in order to um, make others sort of, kind of like, have a happier time, or a more emotionally or financially stable time um, this is an energy here of you're not denying your path anymore you're making some final decisions about your purpose you know what it is you want so you're turning this around you're shifting it all around here if you felt like you made an error of judgment in trusting someone as well know that karma is on the board and it is uh, working in your favor so whatever goodness you gave out um, from the bottom of your heart you're about to receive it okay this is also a call it, it's like obeying that inner call that you have to whatever it is you're trying to achieve. After all this time, things may have been put on delay, uh, but now is your time to go after what makes you happy. Um, yeah, I feel like there may have been some sort of argument or some sort of, there, it feels like there was some dissonance, something that was that gave you a little bit of discord. Someone was a little bit sharp. We, now we have a couple of queens there. So this may have been someone in your um, soul tribe, uh, feminine energy, um, who, you know, was a little bit blunt with you and uh, hurt you in some way. And you just want to run away from the whole thing or they did. Um, it feels very much like we're going to go deeper and find out here. But it feels very much like that unkindness. Um, it feels like you're going to receive some sort of um, wonderful news just like a gift from the universe, almost in compensation. Now, I know you're not looking for compensation, really, but uh, there's an energy here of you're going to be surprised because there's a lot of abundance coming your way, and I'm going to pull a card on it when I get there, but I'm, I'm just getting this indication that someone who may have been a little bit blunt in the way that they dealt with you or unkind in some way, I feel like uh, the... There's retribution and there's uh, an apology. That's the energy I'm getting. But we have a tower moment. Now they're indicating with this tower moment, it's sent to surprise you, to get you out of your comfort zone. You may have felt stuck in a rut and you may have even like doubted yourself or in some way lacked confidence. But there is a surprise here that actually shows you um, that your intuition is on point. 
in that your courage to go after what you want is on point. So don't doubt that at all. Um, this is to open your third eye. You're, you're very intuitive, Cancer. You know when something is off with your soul tribe and they may be like 200 miles away. You just know. There's a deep knowing about you. You're very connected to your people and not everybody gets into your sphere. You're very shrewd about who you give your energy to. That's why it hurts so much when someone you trusted really hurts you because it wounds really deep. Um, but this tower energy, it's like you have to get off the fence about something. You have to make a decision. So the universe, if you're not making a decision, because we got that judgment card in that antagonist position, which means, you know, you're weighing, up, you're weighing up your options here. And I feel like you're kind of fair. You're trying to take out your emotion from the situation and be really balanced and logical about this decision. Um, but if you, you're finding it difficult to decide, the universe brings a tower moment to give you a nudge off that fence so that you actually do it. Um, and do it in the divine order that is meant for you. Now we have the sun card. So ultimately the universe says we want you to be happy. Here's the abundance on the other side. So this is a joyous outcome. Whatever decision you're trying to make here, it's going to be successful. It's going to work in your favor. This is a time for your relationships blooming, um, projects coming to fruition. Everything seems to be really abundant and you're deeply grateful for it. The universe only asks for um, one thing in return and that is gratitude when they send all this abundance towards you the sun is also a leo energy uh, there's a, an indication not in terms of negative ego but it feels like you're radiating you're, you're having that confidence that you may have lacked for quite some time you're stepping into your own okay so it's a very very exciting outcome it's crossed by that ten of pentacles so you know you're getting um some sort of opportunity to grow your finances and um have a lot of financial abundance now uh, we got justice so this is the law of karma in play in your life so whatever if you've been standing up to somebody someone abusing their power over you or you know this uh, well they're just giving me the word disgracing themselves so if you've been dealing with someone who actually disgraced themselves was unkind dishonest in some way maybe ran away from a connection or something they're actually um, being delivered a blow from karma and you're gonna start seeing that sort of evidence um, in your physical world, but also I feel like you're you're receiving um, something positive for your soul path. They're really indicating number 11 there, soul path number. Now I'm just going to pull a card on that. Um, that Libran energy is very sort of win-win situation for you. And as you can see, I'll show you again in a moment in case you couldn't, the scales are tipping in your favor and that sword that she has is on fire. The sun is behind her. So it is about going after the truth of a situation for your happiness. There's the ace of swords. So uh, that's what I'm indicating. That sword there uh, is some sort of conversation um, and it's illuminated. You really, you, you mean business. This is the sort of BS. You're weighing things up and you're going to have some sort of conversation that kind of comes to some sort of solution. And here is the conversation, the ace of swords. So this is uh, either a new idea of how you want this to play out or it is um, getting the truth, the final truth of a situation in order to give you that clarity. Um, I feel like you're working things out, okay? How can both you and this person get the best out of this situation? You don't want to encounter any karmic debt by being negative in this situation. So I feel like you want to lead with light there. And uh, you may have been going round and round in circles about something, um, but the judgment was out. You may have felt like you trusted them. It was poor judgment on your behalf. But Spirit says, no, this was meant to happen for your ascension, for learning, for clarity, because it helps you find the courage in yourself to walk away from a situation that no longer serves you or to invest in a connection with that wonderful feisty confidence that you have. So um, there is a conversation on the board here. And now this conversation, um, we will come to it, uh, but we have that seven of swords there. As you can see, the, the, those seven of swords, this person here has got um, a bow and arrow. They were about to shoot something, but all those swords came underneath their defenses and got in and it's wounded. You know, this person's wounded. They did not expect this. This is something that was uh, quite a shock. So um, now they're also indicating um, some sort of procedure. There could have been a, a, some sort of medical procedure that you had that came as quite a, a shock, quite invasive energy. Um, I feel like uh, it's a sort of uh, everything worked out in your favor. They found a solution to it. And uh, it's a win-win situation for you. You're just uh, mending there with that strength. You're getting your strength back and getting that um, sort of 
you know, you're, you're convalescing. That's the energy. Now, um, that's not going to be for everyone. Um, just for a select few. Sorry, as I'm holding this card, they're saying misfit, misfit. So um, that's kind of like, misfit is kind of someone who marches to the beat of their own drum, kind of is trickster energy. Um, Ten of Pentacles. So there may have been some sort of uh, conflict within the home. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse indicates like family unit and some sort of um, maybe arguments or um, some sort of sharpness. Maybe you, you have some... Um, feminine energy in your your home, your soul tribe, and there was a, a little bit of arguments. I just wanted to clarify this um, energy um, with that Seven of Swords. There's a lot, a lot of conflict because someone was wounded you in some way. Do we have an apology? Well, they come in towards you with a new start. We have that uh, full card energy. Uh, take a chance, that's the energy I'm getting. This person does uh, want to give you a fresh new start with a, a pure heart. They recognize um, I feel like this person recognizes they were out of order, not just because of um, them receiving some sort of retribution. Can you please clarify this? Yeah, Three of Swords. Okay, yeah. So this, now, this does, male or female, this is not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. So this person, uh, you know, I, I'm picking up feminine energy just because of the amount of queens that are here. But this situation does not mean it was a woman who hurt you. Uh, it could be a, a masculine energy also because I'm just reading this side over here is more feminine. Uh, but just to indicate, you know, uh, that's kind of family conflict, a new start. There, there was hurt here. Um, there was pain here. Someone wounded you, um, was very sharp with you. Um, there indicates some sort of loss, but this is also a card of surgery, surgery as well. Uh, but we have that Ace of Cups here. So this person's coming back on in to offer love. Deep at the root of this person, whatever they did, they, believe it or not, they, they have a lot of love for you, okay? And the, I feel like a protective energy from this card. So maybe this person felt they were doing the right thing and actually they really were not. Um, there's love being offered here. Um, so this person may be someone um, that is a romantic interest for you and they withheld um, their emotions from you, were very logical and uh, actually wounded you uh, by running away because the Seven of Swords often represents someone who, uh, you know, runs away from their emotions and um, they regret it. So uh, I'm just getting this energy that this person's going to come on in and offer you a full cup of love. They're all in. That's the energy I'm getting here. Uh, now, we do have this queen of, uh, this messenger of air, uh, which is basically, um, it's, I feel like whatever situation you're in, you've got a lot of wisdom here, a lot of wisdom. You know what's what. And um when you get a messenger of air, you're being informed by your experiences. So you have a certain way of thinking and uh, you have a learned response from it. So um, it just feels like there's very sharp reactions here um, with somebody. And um, you're, you're being asked to sort of adapt your way of thinking about your prosperity path because of it. So I feel like if something didn't work in terms of your prosperity before or your, you know, whatever path you feel like you're trying to get clarity on, you're, you're, you're going to find that clarity on this path. Um, but it's crossed by this Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like it's about finances, about job opportunities, about being resourceful with your money and um, being shrewd to grow that finance in order to look after your home. Um, oh, they're saying the, the word Tosker, Tosca, to Tosker. Yeah, Tosker. Yeah, so I think Tosker is an opera. Uh, maybe it's a name. Maybe it's your name, Tosker. Um, if that resonates in some way for you, then there's something in this message for you. Um, you know, I'm just getting this energy. Now, I know Tosker is an opera, but I don't know what it's about, okay? I have to uh, admit that. But I'm just getting an energy again of sacrificing for love. That's this energy I'm getting throughout your, your, your reading is this sacrifice for love that you've done. Uh, now, that doesn't have to be a romantic love. It could be for your children. It could be uh, for, you know, uh, siblings, parents. In some way, you sacrifice something um, and it feels very much like, what about you now? 
it's time for you. This is the energy that I'm getting, reclaiming your, your, your power, your energy. So, you know, for example, if you're not working anymore, you're retired and, you know, you had children and you've given a lot of self-sacrifice and you're finding that time um, to do you. And I feel like there's this energy of maybe in the past you felt guilty for trying to look after yourself, put yourself first, and you couldn't do that. So you're always giving, giving out. And um, yeah, now it's your turn. That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, now we have that 10 of earth. So this is about affluence. This is about material abundance, um, being financially secure, um, but using your wealth and your knowledge. Um, I feel like you're able to step in and observe the results of what you've built so far through your hard work, dedication. And it's like you're, the dreams that you have set the foundations for, you're starting to see the rewards of that, the solid sort of financial growth here. Um, and if you're getting that off the ground at the moment, know that it's going to grow to this, this point here. Um, this is a, a large amount of money. Now, I feel, can you see the wolf there in this card? It indicates, you know, um, very protective energy. You know, a wolf it often goes out on their own and does their own thing, but they're out protecting the wolf pack, you know? There's often a leader. So I'm getting this energy that, you know, you're protecting your people. There's sacrifice here in, in, in that sort of energy and the universe is rewarding you for like a job well done. Now, with, you know, maybe you're looking after someone who was unwell, you're a care or something like that, because I'm getting this energy. Um, it feels like, you know, you're receiving sort of like, yeah, you're receiving your happiness. It's your turn your time um, now we have that two of water energy so this is about harmony in relationships partnerships whether that's business related because it's crossing that ten of Pentacles or whether it is uh, romantic it feels like everything is coming together there's a lot of bliss here if you're not currently partnered up with somebody in terms of love know that that ace of cups indicates someone is coming to offer you their cup of love uh, that will lead to a, a very uh, exciting balanced harmonious relationship and um, both those uh, cards indicate um, some sort of proposal to some sort of um, conventional union, whether that's marriage or, you know, however you want to have a conventional union. Uh, it feels very harmonious and um, there's a lot of love there. Now, we have the Five of Water. When you get the Five of Water, this is about uh, releasing any grief from the past. So it's almost like an energy of let bygones be bygones. There is someone coming to give you an apology of some sort. Um, for being very sharp or withholding their emotions from you or information from you, uh, which hurt you, wounded you deeply. Um, this person, um, you may have grieved the, the energy that uh, was between you. And uh, it feels like it's, you know, you're now in the ebb and flow of your emotion. It's like you're letting things sort of go. Uh, that Yeah, it's like that bygones be bygones energy. And it takes a lot to be in that energy, Cancer. So you're being the bigger and better person. They're indicating a lot of, um, as you can see, the pearls of wisdom there. Um, there's a, a lot of pearls of wisdom from this situation. And um, you may have felt unloved in the situation, but December, from the 14th, you're gonna see how loved you are. There's a lot of love surrounding you. Um, and you're gonna get clarification of that, that messenger of water. It's all about the love here for you. Uh, everything is shifting in your favor, and there's a lot of beautiful emotion around you. Um, this is a romantic attraction, this messenger of water, just to let you know. So if you're not in a connection with somebody, uh, someone may reveal their feelings for you. Um, and I feel like this person sees you as the 10. Um, we've got a couple of... Um, seahorses showing up in your your reading there someone that you may f have felt that you lost because there's a seahorse there with that five of water um and we also have this seahorse here so this person may be gravitating back towards you to uh, tell you how they feel about you um this is a card of i'm getting two energies actually this is a card of admiration as well as a call to fall in love with yourself and the situation Okay, I feel like because you, you're starting to love yourself again, you're at, attracting the love that you truly deserve. Uh, now, I'm going to pull a card on it because um, I am getting a secondary energy of someone um, that you may work with or had worked with. I feel like um, wherever the Ten of Pentacles, wherever that money came from or that financial kind of 
stability came from. There's a lot of admiration for what you do. And um, there's just a lot of love and happiness around you that's coming towards you for this time period. So I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this? Okay. Knight of Swords. So someone is coming to tell you a truth here. Also, it feels like um, there's a big change here in your life. This is a lifestyle change card. Um, and they're indicating here that um, you made the changes. You did, you, you know, you rolled with the punches and you made the changes in order to have a more happy, fulfilling life. And as a result, um, people around you, your soul tribe, but also people that you may have worked with or continue to work with at the moment, uh, there's a lot of admiration for your strength. So um, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. And also um, a lot of admiration for you wanting the truth and going after it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Queen of Swords. Yeah, we've got a lot of swords here. So this is the second kind of energy here. we got the Messenger of Swords. <clears throat> Queen of Swords is a conversation, you know, um, being very self-sufficient, leading with total honesty, going after what you truly desire on a bit of a spiritual mission as well as a physical one. And can you see the Cup of Love there? Is, it's like it's behind bars, but I feel like it's for safekeeping. You're being logical about a situation to only invest your love where you feel it is wanted and necessary and where it is reciprocal. So it's still the same energy, you know, you're not just giving out your love to anybody anymore. You've done a lot of self-sacrifice and now it's time for you. That's the energy I'm really getting. Um, one more, they said, one more. Thank you so much. Um, just to let you know, we have a lot of air energy on the board and a lot of earth energy as well. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Page of Cups. Yeah. So we got the Page of Cups here, which is someone offering you their cup of love. This is a, a romantic union or a, some sort of um, offering of love from your soul tribe if you've fallen out with somebody. It doesn't always have to be romantic love. But what's interesting about the Page of Cups is it often comes with an apology. Okay, uh, This person is doing uh, volunteering to do the work in order to put the effort into the connection. They, they see... This person may have felt like they were not enough next to you and in some way they want to raise their vibrations to meet you to where you are. Okay, so um, it feels like there is a big conversation coming with you two and we have that high priestess in the reverse. Now, you may be blocking this uh, or I, I'm just getting this energy of um, you may have shut down on this a little bit because that queen of swords, she's sharp. But she doesn't get to that position unless she has to, okay? So you you started off very emotional, very open. But if someone wounds you, it's shut down, shut down. You know, uh, cancer has left the building, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. So you may have blocked this for a little while. Um, I feel like you will have a conversation with this person. Now, uh, we do have... Um, as I said, this Seven of Swords, someone who wounded you, um, they're getting their retribution there. Um, but also, I feel like as a result, you've been just burying your head in work, trying to get, you know, your finances and your home life sorted financially. And it's leading to the big payoff here, which is really wonderful. We got the Four of Wands there. This is celebration, but also it is a reunion card. So um, this talks about, you know, people being back together, enjoying uh, each other's company, but also it is, uh, you know, my halfway to marriage card. So if you're in a union with someone or you're thinking about getting into business with somebody, it feels like you're taking the steps there to partner up with this person. There is a choice. It's totally your call, but it feels like there's celebration around you at this time. And look at that, a lot of passion. We got the Queen of Wands, feisty energy, even though it's a, a fire ele element there, uh, Leo energy, it's a, you having that confidence in yourself. Everything is turning in your favor and you're getting what you truly deserve because you know, you've stepped into your power. You're not doubting yourself anymore. They, they've required you, you know, by the time the full moon is in, full moon is in Sag there, you know, they're asking you here, look at the bigger picture. Uh, expect that powerful change. And that is what you're, you're getting here. The change is within you. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and starting to recognize your worth, that you deserve so much more. And you've been doing a lot of self-sacrifice. Now's the time for love and passion and for you to invest your emotions and passion um, towards a path that is more suited to you. And uh, whether that's in, jo you know, in business or in um, romance, uh, at the moment, they're giving me a lot of water, so it's very emotionally fulfilling, and there's a lot of romantic cards that are coming out, so um, spirit...
guides me to what they want to talk about in each reading. And this, they seem to want to talk about um, energies with you and a loved one in some way. Now, we do have that seven of uh, cups. It's in the upright. That indicates, you know, um, there's a lot of choice here. A lot. So you've had to make some decisions. And um, I really feel like your decision affects somebody. It, it affects a feminine, uh, someone, a feminine person in your either in your soul tribe or someone you work with, there's a feminine energy here. Um, either you clashed or you rely heavily on them or they rely heavily on you. Uh, your choices affect somebody else. And I feel like um, there's, I'm going to pull a card on it because um, spirit is indicating they don't want you to resist this change. Okay. Don't feel, don't fear of the change. It's necessary. It's a necessary transition. It actually, um, averts disaster in the long term nobody wants you to be stuck in a, a an energy of um oppression cancer so this is why this shift and this change is happening so i'm just going to uh, pull a card on it there can you please clarify uh, the seven of cups crossed by the tower yeah it's for a new start to take off all the burden all the stress off you okay uh, they don't want you to be exhausted there's just you know you got to Finally, take a break and say no to anyone who is, um, you know, putting all their BS on you or expecting too much of you in a situation and not giving back. It's the freedom to say no and, and, and say, I'm not taking this anymore. I'm lightening the load for me and I'm doing me. That is not a selfish act. Okay, Cancer. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse and we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. So they're indicating here, you know, it's taken a long time for you to um, get some support from from people. It feels like you're, you've been a, a bit on your own here, d out there being a maverick, doing all the stuff and trying to support all the things because you care so much about people. And this two of wands indicates, you know, uh, there may have been a delay from you doing what you truly want to do. Uh, but now is the time. Everything is shifting for a reason. Uh, they said one more, so I'll give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. If I get a Five of Pentacles in my spread, I want it to be in reverse. So this is very exciting. Now, as I said, whether it's to do with a job, because we do have that Ten of Pentacles there, or whether it's to do with a relationship, there's new coming here, and there is exciting new hope. This is a success card, okay? Five is uh, the number of obstacles, and you've got it in reverse, so you're overcoming the obstacles. Um, so there's either a new job on the horizon for you that brings in the big 10 if you've been waiting. It's a, an amount of money where you can actually do you and have a wonderful sort of solid uh, home life. Be very resourceful. You tend to make a little go a long way. But with the 10, it feels like you're getting more um, than you bargain for in a very, very positive way. Also, this indicates a, a recovery. You know, uh, so if you had that procedure, there's recovery here, success there. And also, this is someone returning. Hope is returning. Um, so uh, someone who may have made you feel like you were left out in the cold or you um, went cold on them because of their actions, there is a return here. Okay. Um, so it feels like there's a lot of hope. My, my, my candles just started fizzing. I don't know if you can hear that. So it, it feels like there's energy. Your mojo is being sort of injected back into the situation. Okay. They're just saying uh, Gamara. I don't know what that is. Gamara. What is that spirit? Can you please guide me? Gamara. Okay. All I'm getting now is a... Uh, really? Okay. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh gosh, I'm going to really embarrass myself. It sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, it sounds like Sodom and tomorrow, but it's Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. I'm going to look it up. Uh, please do not shoot the messenger. I, I just channel the messages. I, I, I give you what they're giving me. Um, so Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, I'll look that up and, uh, guide you as to what uh, they're giving me. But at the moment, um, I cannot pick up on an energy of what it is they mean by that. So I'm just going to move on to the next card. Okay. They want me to leave that there. There is a wonderful, hopeful time. Don't fight the change. Okay. Cancer. Um, this is, uh, a time for you to do you and not to be, um, feeling, how can I put that? Not to feel guilty for, um, you know, taking back your power and investing in your own happiness. Uh, now we have Hermit 
Virgo energy, retreat and recharge. So yeah, definitely, it's time to do you. The Hermit is number nine, and that is about solitary energy. Time to take some time out for yourself. It's necessary for growth. Retreat, regroup, renew your energy and get that new perspective because we have that uh, messenger of um, air right in the center. So there's a new perspective on your prosperity path. And as a result, all these changes are actually for a very happy benefit for you, Cancer, okay? Uh, so maybe you're uh, engaging in some sort of spiritual practice as well. Um, so they're just giving me something, one moment please. Ooh. Okay, uh, this is not going to be for everybody, uh, but they're indicating someone um, cooking liver. I'm a veggie, so I, you know I don't really want to go there. But um, you know I don't judge anyone for eating meat at all. I'm not here to judge anybody. Um, but uh, they're indicating someone just uh, cook some liver now. Either uh, you know you've been doing it to get some iron because you know you're sort of powering up there your body soul food sort of thing if you're if that's you who's eating the liver then there's something in this message for you okay feels very much in the now i mean to be honest it smells amazing but um and i would you know but um uh, yeah you know <laughs> we'll just leave it there um, I'm just going to go on to the next card for you i'm using the wisdom of the oracle to uh, gauge any final advice for my beautiful cancerians what else do they need to know we have soulmates but it's in the reverse okay so maybe someone you were separated from a few obstacles to overcome perhaps someone in your soul tribe where you felt everything was off uh, someone ran away was a bit sharp in the connection um it feels like um it's number 41 just to let you know when you reduce i'll just show you in the upright when you reduce it four plus one is five so as i said five is the number of obstacles so um, you got that in the reverse there. There's some obstacles to overcome before you come into being with your counterpart. Um, I will read from the book as I wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong here. Um, but they're indicating the scarf here around that penguin for me. I'll just show you there. Um, so they're, indica they're indicating some sort of conversation that is needed to be had. Um, the throat chakra is being highlighted with that scarf for me. Okay, I'm just also uh, going to get a Nature's Whispers before I close the reading. Oh, you've got two there. We got Be in Service. Okay, Be in Service and Show Your Support. Be in Service there. It is number 41 as well. That's interesting. I mean, what about that for synchronicity? As you can see, number 41 there at the bottom. Okay, and number 41. So a lot of synchronicity here. Um, be in service, 41. Um, I feel like you know what you need to do to overcome the obstacles. And also, we got another seahorse there. So this is about counterparts. Seahorses, they mate for life. So this is about finding someone to partner up with in terms of your soul tribe or um, a romantic interest. Um, it feels very much like um, this will be a long-term partnership, but there's some obstacles to overcome. And um, it needs to be nourished. The connection needs to be nourished. As you can see, this um, this sort of um, sea creature, feminine sea creature, she is um, giving some sort of sea kelp or something to uh, the, the seahorse. So nourishment there. And we also have show your support. It's number 40 interesting enough and when you reduce that four plus zero is the emperor so it's about planning for the future and seeing beauty in your world can you see this this feminine figure she's by herself here with nature uh, she's wondering at the one the gorgeous nature of the world looking up at the sun there and there's two three birds perched by her so the spirit is by you that you're not alone there and in that boat is a person so it indicates here you know, show your support. Um, this person in the boat, I feel like that uh, you, those two figures, they belong together. That's the energy I'm getting here. So um, yeah, maybe that's your wish fulfillment. Um, but yeah, let's read from the book. We got the soulmates uh, card in the reverse. Number 41. It says, an important relationship brought you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. 
Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky or inconceivable. The question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. Okay. Uh, so there's self-reflection here, but I feel like the lesson is to stand in your power, to know that you deserve um, happiness and that you have uh, the courage to be who you are, but also, you know, not to keep making sacrifices for others and depleting your energy all the time because you leave yourself lacking. Now's the time to make sure you are full in your energy. Um, okay, I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys, for angels. We have... We have a leaf, turning over a new leaf, but also there's growth here, okay? A lot of solid growth in this situation. And, oh, I just did a Sagittarian read, I feel. Uh, I feel they got a change in the wind, okay? Because they've just said a change in the wind to me, okay? So there are big changes here for you. Where would you like this? They want it on the sun card because it is a, a change here that uh, brings you abundance and happiness. Don't fight the change. Okay? Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.